It was uh, three in the morning. And we always keep lights on in the house. And it was pitch black. With, there was fire in the kitchen and three lights on, and you couldn't see thing. The smoke was everywhere. It, it crawled into every crevice in the house. The kitchen was where the fire was. Uh, the kitchen just spoke volumes of the historic nature of this home. My name's Kathy Wagner, and this is my husband, Alan Webster, and we're the survivors of a very serious fire um, that did enormous damage to our home. <laughs> This house was fantastic. We, first time we walked into it, I said, I want this house. We love living out in the country. Like out here, they call it the flats because it's just in the floodplain, and that's where they are growing soybeans and corn. As you know, there might even be a train that comes <laughs> through as we are speaking right now, um, which I totally love. I love the sound of the train tracks. Ellen and I were married right here on the front porch. It was incredible. I had over 300 people. Five kegs of beer. <laughs> we had friends that, we have a lot of musicians friends. They put a stage out here and each one of them, you know, did two or three acts. Um, dancing and singing and, uh, you know, we had a party that lasted into the next day. <laughs> Um, the fire itself was um, in the kitchen, but the smoke damage was extensive uh, and literally permeated our home from top to bottom. Both Alan and I are extremely grateful uh, to the Rainbow Company uh, for restoring our home. And that's what was incredibly important to me when Ellen and I were both in the hospital. He was not conscious at that time, so I was the person who uh, had to reach out to a company um, to talk about what to do with our home. I was in a drug-induced coma for a week with uh, intubated. And I had no idea, you know, what was going on other than some very lucid bad dreams. We have two dogs um, on the farm, and um, they, you can hear them right now in the background, um, uh, Greta and, and Lola. Uh, the whole house was so full of smoke you could literally not, I could not see at all, but she was able to follow us out the door. We did lose our Delilah, mastiff. Our, yeah, our big old Mastiff, because um, she couldn't get up off her bed. Uh, when the uh, staff from Rainbow came to my hospital room, it was only three days since um, uh, the fire, and it was very apparent to me immediately that they knew what they were talking about, um, that they were very specific in the role that they would play, literally from gutting the house and emptying it of all of its contents and then uh, overseeing all of the rehab. Um, in my professional work, I worked as a person who did restoration of historic housing. Um, I've 
participated in that process in one way or another from a community organizer to an executive director for 30 years uh, in the urban core in Kansas City, Missouri. So this process um, was not foreign to me. It is so critical, especially in a time of great emotion, Alan still being in the hospital um, in a coma, that I had the easiest path that I could have um, with a company uh, to carry out this job. The ceilings were removed in the kitchen. You could see literally up to the roof because the attic roof uh, flooring was moved as well. Um, so from total demolition to uh, the trades that came in to restore the house back, the windows looking exactly like the historic windows that we had, um, the structure uh, being exactly, uh, our cabinets being mirrored exactly as the historic cabinets were. So we were, again, incredibly fortunate to have Rainbow overseeing these trades um, that brought our home back to us. Yeah, all these pottery and the glassware and the paintings were restored. Uh, most of it, the paintings were restored by Rainbow. Um, I restored the pottery myself, other than a, a few pieces they, they worked on. The whole process, they were happy to take care of any little problem. And if we had a problem yet, they would still come out and deal with it. And it's been over a year now. One of the things that impressed me most was they had a young woman there who was restoring documents that had come from my desk and Kathy's desk and taken the smoke out of them. It was actually fun. After, after we could actually go back into the house without ventilation and, and masks and covered up and clothes that you weren't going to ever wear again, there were members of that rainbow team that were actually fun because we had to go through every single object. Rainbow packed up this whole house and moved it to their warehouse. They also got us, Rainbow got us a pod, a, a cargo container to store things in too that was out here in the driveway. And uh, of course Rainbow uh, provided the 15 yard dumpster and it was filled three times with stuff that was removed. So in 20 years you accumulated a lot of stuff. And you'd be amazed how much of it you can live without. <laughs> and our neighbors uh, that surround us out here um, were a big part of helping us come back, um, emotionally come back. My fan, our family, our children uh, were a huge part, our granddaughter, of, of helping us put the house back together again. It is now restored. And, and, and we'll live here another hundred years, huh, hon? Mm -hmm. <laughs>